Hey, what's up guys? My name is Peter and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, then please subscribe for more upcoming videos. This really means a lot for me. In this video, I'm going to have a closer look at three cheap watches from the Chinese web shop called Banggood. They do all have an own name and model number, but are basically replicas of some known models from Casio. Links to the watches are below in the video description. But if you have the money, support Casio and buy the originals. I only test these for curiosity and fun. So the first watch is called Smeal 1545 and resembles the Casio G-Shock Modmaster GWG1000. The next one is called Sanda 737 and resembles the Casio ProTrek PRW6000. And the last one is called Skimmy 1335 and resembles the Casio AI1200 in silver, also known as Royal. So we here have cheap watches from three big China brands, Skimmy, Sanda and Smeal. In terms of quality, they are all similar and well known for producing cheap watches with Casio-like designs. It applies to all three that the front is not real glass, but thick plastic that comes with a pre-installed screen protector. These watches were shipped from China and each one came without any kind of box, just delivered in bubble wrap with an English user manual like this. So this is the Skimmy 1335 in silver. It features a dual digital display. The watch feels extremely light in the hand. I don't think this is stainless steel, but it still looks okay. It has the typical folding locking mechanism. On the back there's a skimmy inscription and it says water resistant 5 ATM and there's also a battery code. The watch looks almost like the original Casio AI1200 but without the map in the corner so it's easy to spot the difference. It shows time in 12 or 24 hour format, date and day. It has light green backlit display. And besides the time we also have an alarm with snooze and hourly chime. Stopwatch, dual time, countdown time, and that's it. For the price it looks cool and has all the basic features that you need through a day. Here the watch on my wrist, not the biggest but the size is fine. Okay, so let's put this back again and let's have a look at the next one. So this is the Sanda 737 in black. It features a dual digital display and analog hands. The design is rugged, it's not a G-Shock design but a replicate of the series called ProTrek 6000. The strap is of resin and feels matte and soft. On the back there's a Sander inscription and it says water resistant 3 ATM and a stainless steel back. The watch looks almost like the original, on the side we have a crown to adjust the analog clock. The digital display shows time in 12 or 24 hour format date and day with a green backlit display. And it also indicates something that looks like a small compass with a plane, but that doesn't really do anything, so it's easy to spot this fake. Besides the time and date, we have a stopwatch, an alarm with snooze, an hourly chime, and that's it. The details on this one is good. It's not a small watch, and here you see it on my wrist. A modern and sporty look. So let's also put this one back on the table. And let's have a look at the last one. So this is the Smeal 1545 that resembles the Casio Modmaster GWG. It has an extremely robust design and features a dual digital display plus analog hands. The display on this one is inverted so the background is black which looks better. It has normal side buttons, a special one on the front for the backlight and a crown to adjust the analog hands. The digital display has screen backlight and a special thing on this one is that the analog hands also glow slightly in the dark. We have time, seconds and day indicator on the front. Then there's a stopwatch, alarm and hourly chime. 
and this indicator up here shows the day. The strap is of resin with a soft pattern and looks almost like the original one from Casio, only that it up here instead says Smear Watch. On the back there's a Smear inscription and it says Water Resistant 5 ATM and Stainless Steel Back. There are some small differences to the original from Casio. For instance, the numbers on the dial look a lot thinner, but you will probably still be able to fool some, and here you see it on my wrist. Notice that this watch is extremely thick and very big, so best for a person with big hands. So that's it for the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Drop a like if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.